What is your advice you would give to a bride and groom who is interested in booking a filmmaker for their wedding? Um, now, sometimes people may may feel like we say you should do it, and I do feel like they definitely do, but just don't, I feel like they shouldn't always hire the first person they talk to, like at least talk to a few others. And I guess right now you can go ahead and give your advice on it right now. So I actually just did a, I just did a YouTube video on this pretty, probably about a week ago, but on the lines of when you, of what you just asked of like, should they, I mean, you got to think of it like, you know, photos, they have their place and I'm not going to take anything ever away from photos because we understand that photos, they have their place. Been around Um, since the beginning of time. Yes, exactly. Probably, obviously longer than video, but Mm -hmm. video just is a different element of the day, of just Mm -hmm. a different perspective of the day. And it just captures moments that not photos not going to capture, but in a way or a vision that the photo just doesn't capture. Yeah. You know, so that's, so if you're looking for something on that lines, um, you know, have that conversation with that person that is potentially talking to you're thinking about and talking to uh, that with their wedding day. If they're going to be filming your wedding day, just have that conversation with them about who they are, what they like, how long they've been doing it. Just kind of have a little bit of a questionnaire in your head way. It's just because, you know, to back on that topic of the scams are. You know, I've been doing this, you know, just a few years and obviously scamming has been going on since the dawn of man, Mm -hmm. but I just feel like this last couple of this last 12 months has been crazy with the amount of people that are in industries or, you know, companies, this will help, you know, you get a sense of trust in the person that is your, and you know, you're going to be giving thousands of dollars to Mm -hmm. for your wedding day. So you know, having, having a questionnaire to eliminate red flags and red flags. uh, I would say red flags are if they don't want to do those phone calls or if they're, they do those phone calls, but those phone calls are very, very short and they're very vague and they're, they, you don't get a lot of information from that individual of what they're going to provide the deliverables for you. Mm-hmm. You know, how, so that would be so, uh, you know, you as a bride and groom, um, you questioning those individual, that individual that's going to be filming your wedding. Just make sure that you get, you know, a website, you get you, you know, you see their their work, you see that their reviews. I, I'm a big, big, big believer in reviews. I've been that's what I've been kind of focusing on the last two months is getting mm-hmm. my reviews up from my past brides and grooms that way that, you know what, I feel that, you know, if I was, you know, had a bride and groom ask me, what's one thing that you wish you could ask a videographer, do you have a referral that I could call and have a conversation with, or at least an email from that client or that bride and groom that you filmed for, would they be able to, I I guess, validate that you are who you say you are and that you're going to provide this type of service. Yeah. So just just having, you know, a, a, a good sense of what they're going to deliver to you, I guess, is what I'm saying is because there's so much that I have seen where they're the, um, the company is they're promising the world and delivering absolutely yeah. nothing. Yeah. And I was a recipient and I'll touch on this for a second. I was a recipient of being scammed by a, 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 a large company in Petty Four Films. I filmed seven weddings for them last year, and I've still owed thousands of dollars. So, Man, that's funny you say that because I I mean, to be honest, some of my – actually, no, I look back on my footage. I mean, it was actually okay because actually the bride that shot in Rex 709 does actually from that wedding. And yeah, like I was supposed to get paid like $500. I never got paid for that wedding. It never <laughs> came. And I think yeah. that wedding company was out of um, it was out of Wisconsin. It, it probably Capturely was another one. Um, Tolman Media is the newest scamming company on the market. Where they're they're basically um, they're they're scamming brides and grooms. Um, pay, just a synopsis of what they would do is that they would promise the world 
But mm-hmm. if you paid in full, if you paid in full, we're going to give you a fifty percent discount. Okay, mm-hmm. so this is a, a prime example. That is a major, major. That's probably a huge red flag. Yeah. If you're potent, yep. I would immediately just end the conversation and be like, "You're not for us. Thank you. Have a great day." Yeah. Because you know, that, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. And they, and that's what they were. So what they would do is that they would take that money and deliver almost next to nothing or nothing mm-hmm. at all. They would just take the money and n- just drop all forms of communication and completely ignore what you, you, you ignore you and just take the money. And then mm-hmm. here I am as a vendor, I've shot this. I still have footage of brides last year that I shot that I'm holding on to for them because they got scammed. Mm-hmm. I mean, so and and we understand that this day those days can never be redone yep. that's why i'm i'm so adamant about you know with these individuals that this is your day and we hope this is the only time that you ever have to do this day but we mm-hmm. want to be able to capture that day and and you know if, if unforeseen circumstances you do get scammed or if i was to something was to happen um, just to touch a little uh, snippet about where uh, I shot a wedding and she was like, thank you so much for, you know, offering the raw uh, video. You know, mm-hmm. my grandfather made the raw video and he ended up passing, you know, 12, 18 months. Yeah. Uh, I forget the exact that, but having that is in, on the lines of, you know, uh, of what we talked about of like, why is video? It's just that they wouldn't have had that. They didn't, they got one smiling picture with grandpa during the family portrait time, but yep. then, the, the raw video offered them and gave them uh, grandpa dancing with a granddaughter or a grandson, you know? So, but, and trusting that coming back full circle and trusting that individual that's going to, or company that's going to, you know, capture that day, just make sure you do uh, your due diligence and do some homework. Yeah. And as you heard, bro, it's like, we got scammed too. And like, we're actually wedding filmmakers. So like it happened to us too. So you're not the only ones getting scammed because you have a lot of these companies where like, I kind of want to do the same thing and grow my business and, you know, work with lead shooters. But the thing is, when we're doing that, we have to make sure that they're good because what a lot of these companies are doing, they're booking you, um, they're taking your money, they're saying everything is going to be great, but then they're sending brand new shooters to actually go shoot your weddings who have little to no experience. And then, like you, you then like you see, like you know, your wedding is not coming out the way you want, and you pretty much got mm-hmm. scammed because, like you, like Ryan said, you're not getting what you promised. You're getting promised the world, but then, pretty much receiving garbage at the end of the day. Absolutely, yeah. Um, there's, I mean, there's that's what they do. They'll they'll farm it. I I, I call them the puppy mills of wedding yeah. industry. That's what that's, I, that's what they really are. What they are. They're, they're just a puppy mill just to, you know, take your money and give you something that, you mm-hmm. know, and that's kind of what a puppy mill is. They're good. They're, they'll mill dogs all day long, all year, yep. years. And they're just, this dog is what it is. If it's got yep. all, if it's got all this amoralities or admoralities and all these problems. So, I mean, it's, it's still a dog, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> exactly. So. And it's sad. So definitely do your due jealous. Definitely do your due jealous. Sorry. Definitely do your due diligence. And, you know, don't hire the first person that contact you. I mean, I would love that happen if I'm one of the first, if I'm one of the first people that contact a bride and hire me off the spot. I would love that. But at the same time, I would rather them, and I told somebody this too, I would rather them actually go talk to a few more vendors and be sure that they want to hire me. Because I even told brides to talk to your fiancés to make sure I'm the one as well. Like, you know, make sure you're both in agreement. That way, there's no friction <laughs> early on before the wedding. So, agreed, you know, agreed. It's important. It is very, very important. Yeah. And one more thing I want to touch on, as you said, actually, is um, we were talking about video versus photos. And, you know, I do both. I don't, I don't do a lot of wet wedding photography. Like, I have one wedding photography this year that I'm doing or one photo wedding that I'm doing this year. But, um, you know, I specialize in video. And here, what, here is how I like to say the difference is. Photos, they will freeze the moment. So you'll always have that one moment frozen that you can look back on for the rest of your life. But videos will actually help you relive that moment. Right? You get to see everything in action. You get to hear the you get to hear the audio, the voices, you know. 
You may you may be able to hear your grandparents give a speech or your parents give a speech. Like, you know, that moment and those emotions that they would get from the video will always be there. And that's just something you can't replicate with a photo. Even though we love Agreed. our wed- even though we love our wedding photographers, we love them to death, and I we went do. to some amazing ones. <laughs> but even they, but even they understand, like you know, the emotion you can get from a wedding fam is just totally different. It is agreed. 